Hey everybody, we are back with another review, and today we got some pickups from Whatnot, we got some muscle figures, we got some Walmart pickups, so without further ado, let's hop right into this review, don't mind the cut on my hand, this is what happens when you mess with a 3D printer, the filament bites back. So uh, yeah, let's hop into our first our first pickup from Whatnot, we got a soda from Beard of Pops most recent auction, grabbed a tongue lasher, very cool, from the Motu soda line. It's uh, 8,400 pieces, and here he is, Tongue Lasher. Very, very dope. Nice pickup there. Cool, I like the fade on the tongue, I dig it. And if you didn't know, Tongue Lasher is UV reactive. Even though he is, I think, metallic for his chase, the, uh, the vinyl is UV reactive, so appreciate you, Beard of Pop, thanks so much. Go check him out on Whatnot. Next, definitely someone you wanna go check out on Whatnot. We got Pop Couple. I did a collectible mystery box, and I saved the ticket just because I forgot the um, parameters, but it says, you receive one collectible item from various artists and or brands. Floor is 18, ceiling is 40. Some items are brand new, some items have been previously opened. All items will be opened upon sellout or 8 p.m. Pacific Standard, whichever is first. Okay, cool. So, $25 mystery box, let's see what we ended up getting. All right, it is still wrapped. I left it wrapped because it was a mystery box, and I don't think, I don't think my, I don't think my, I don't think I was there for it to be open. So they just mailed, it, I guess, new. So which is pretty cool. Thank you. And I, had, I got box number six. So let's say the first thing I got is this might be a little freebie because I think this is the, this is the actual mystery box. We got a little Groot head. Let's see what this is. This little Groot head. Um, maybe it's like a little uh little nodder. Oh, cool. No? Yeah? Yeah, maybe it is. A little, little nodder. We got Groot giving the uh, sideways face right there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, neat. That is cool. Like pop couple. All right, let's see what designer toy we got. There you go. Or we'll just stick it back on itself, I guess. We don't want it sticking. Sticking to everything. Okay, number six, TRG. I'm uh, thinking that's where the, uh, oh, here it is. Mang Mang, Mang Mang Bing. So it has the, uh, what it is in there. Oh, I see how they did it. So this, this was the envelope with all the, what it is. And they just paired this with whatever this is. Open this up. Ah, nice. Oh, cool, Mang Mang Bing. Sunday toy, Mang Mang Bing. Um, I never heard of them, and I don't pay, ton, pay enough attention to designer toys to know what it is, but I am gonna check it out. Looks like we have two QR codes here. I'm gonna check that out and let's see what kind of toy we got. It is filled with little plastic, little granules, which is really cool. And it looks like this part maybe dips into this base. I'll have to look up this Mang Mang Bing and see what this is. I've never seen this before, but I'm always interested to find new things, so. Very cool, bang, bang, bing. All right, thank you, Pop Couple, appreciate you on that. We'll check that out. All right, next up, we got some muscle figures. We got, I got these from Entertainment Earth. We got some Shogun ones that I scooped up. I grabbed two packs of those, because we're gonna open one of these. I'll probably open the, uh, the punched one. We'll leave the unpunched one sealed. Next we got a Mega Man, or no, we got Mega Man and Motu. So next we have Motu, which uh, we have Moss Man, He-Man, and Snake Mountain in this one, which is actually pretty cool. And they're just like little plastic figures. Millions of small creatures lurking everywhere. Little muscle. And here's some Mega Man ones. We got uh, one of those little hard hat guys. We got, uh, what is that, Flame Man? Fire Man or whatever from Mega Man 4 or 3. That's pretty cool. And you got Mega Man. These are all unpunched. These are done by Super 7, so it looks like, uh, yeah, they're rough and rowdy renegades. Flexible, durable, and unstoppable. So, and then we have, uh, looks like we got Electro Man, we have Dr. Light, and Bomb Man. Very cool. Very cool. All right, let's open up the Shogun one. Let's check this out. Rough and tumble, huh? Oh, 
That's pretty cool. They bend. That's pretty wild. I don't think I've ever played with these before, but I figured I'd pick them up and check them out. That's really cool. So, like, the appendages bend and they don't break. So, like, you can, I mean, like, this is, like, perfect toy for a kid, to be honest with you. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's small, but, like, this is a perfect toy for a kid because it's got give. That's like, this is, like, what you wanted when you were a kid. I don't necessarily think you could take this figure and bend it to sit, like, in a vehicle, but you can, de it's definitely got, like, some give, you know what I mean? It's not just going to snap straight out the gate. And these are all from 2016. So these have probably been on the shelf for a while. And these are the three that I got in this pack, the Shogun pack. And I'm not familiar with these three characters whatsoever. But I dig the fact that these bend. That is freaking awesome. Look at this. The horns bend. That is really cool. And it doesn't really flex the plastic either. That's pretty dope. All right. We got some muscle muscle figures. Move some of this stuff aside. All right, next we got some Walmart stuff that we picked up uh, from the Masters of the Universe line. First, we have the Power Attack He Man here, which I'm not too sure why he's dressed up like this and he has a soft goods cape, but it is some kind of deluxe He Man here for sure. Um, it's not Battle Armor because I have that one, it's red. This is something different. And then. That looks like Beast Man, I'm assuming, on the back. But it has some kind of a pull and release action. I'm not going to open this one up. Um, but we can definitely... We can definitely... There you go. Maybe this is Thunder Punch He-Man. He's got a sword and a shield. But it's not really a sword, is it? It's a... Uh, it's like a power attack. Maybe it's Thunder Punch He-Man. That might be what this is. I mean, I haven't seen the new show, the new show with the, the animated series. I just got the figures, but that could be Thunder Punch Man because that is the action for that. So that's what we'll have to assume that that is right there. All right, next up we got is the Powers of Grayskull He Man. This is a sick one right here. We're gonna open this one up because I have two of these and I wanted to grab a second one. So usually, if I like the figure enough, I'll grab a second one and I'll open one. And I'll keep one for my new inbox stuff. New for, one for my new inbox stuff and one for my out of box playset. So, yes, I have playsets set up around Castle Grey Skull, Snake Mountain, multiple Castle Grey Skulls for different generations. So, here he is. This is the Powers of Grey Skull He Man with the OG uh, Power Sword. They didn't change the Power Sword at all for the Powers of Grey Skull transformation, if that makes sense. The uh, Leotard, this stuff's all hard plastic, but the leotard and this chest plate is soft plastic. He does have action to him. He still has the same the same twisting action in regards to his power. But um, here it is. Powers of Grey Skull He-Man. Pretty dope. He's translucent yellow. I think this one's actually really cool. They're coming out some really neat figures for the animated line. The Revelation line has some good stuff, too. I guess you could take this off. No, it's glued on. I'm not going to take that off. <laughs> it looks like it's meant to come off, but it's glued on. So, pretty cool. I like this one. This is a cool figure. I thought it was neat. And he does the... Uh, he has the bow action, and he still has the twist. So, I dig it. Powers of Skull, He-Man. Nice little pickup there. Put him off to the side there. We'll get rid of the packaging. All right, last thing we picked up was from Walmart. This was a Boba Fett, Book of Boba Fett, new figure. This is a uh, large style plush. It's a voice cloner, which isn't very Boba Fett if you ask me, but what are you gonna do? Because Boba Fett never repeats what you say. <laughs> he lives his life on his own terms. That's why Boba Fett's so fucking cool. <laughs> um, let's try it out though, shall we? So I think you, it looks like it says this, you, you press it, hold it, and you speak into it, and then when you release it, he should say what uh, what you said. So, let's see here. Without further ado, let's hop right into this review. Without further ado, let's hop right into this review. <laughs> so, it doesn't have memory where it's going to remember what you say, but it's just going to basically dump whatever you say after you hit the record button. Press and hold the record button, like... 
The Book of Boba Fett. The Book of Boba Fett. Put Captain Solo in the cargo hold. Put Captain Solo in the cargo hold. He's no good to me, dead. He's no good to me, dead. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty dope. That's actually kind of cool. Um, all right. <laughs> That one's pretty cool. I'm going to leave that in the packaging. I'm not looking to take him out right now, to be honest with you. I'm not looking to display a plush, but I will keep it in its original packaging and put it with the rest of my Boba Fett stuff. But that's the first Book of Boba Fett toy that came out. I like the stylized nature of it. The repeats what you say thing's a little weird because that's not bo very Boba Fett, but I do think they did a good job with that. I think that's pretty cool. So um, that'd probably be really fun for kids. And plus there's like a jet pack that shoots off a rocket on top. So I'm sure people will who have kids would love to get their kids into Boba Fett by getting them something like this. Even a grown ass adult man thinks that's pretty cool. So yeah, why don't you let me know down in the comments below, which one was your favorite from this particular video? I have some pickups from whatnot. We got soda from beer to pop. We got some designer toy from pop couple. We got some muscle figures. We got some new He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, uh, the animated series on Netflix TV show pickups. We have the book of Boba Fett, um, repeats what you say toy let me know down in the comments below which one was your favorite and yeah if you like this video give it a thumbs up want more content like this subscribe for more because i do reviews every single day so look out for that and have a great rest of your day